be a massive expansion in the numbers of people being deported as protesters fly their flag from Lady Liberty with a new executive order on immigration due any day now. Meanwhile, congressional Republicans across the country facing heated town hall crowds in their home districts. Plus, the fall of an equal opportunity offender. Milo Yiannopoulos resigns as an editor at Breitbart News. And you know you've gone too far when you're too much for Breitbart. But why was a man who spouted so much hate ever a darling of conservatives in the first place? That's a good question, and we'll answer that for you this evening. Let's get right to CNN senior White House correspondent, the Mr. Jeff Selney, uh, with the breaking news of the evening, the, new, the newest thing that we have. So, Jeff, let's talk about uh, the president now, signaling an expansion of deportations of undocumented immigrants in this country. What exactly is the White House saying? He is indeed, Don. They really sent two memorandums to the Department of Homeland Security today, basically saying they're going to enforce existing U.S. law. Virtually anyone who is in the country as an undocumented immigrant could be subjected to being arrested. Now, this is different from the Obama administration. That was generally reserved for criminals, someone who is a, you know, a violent criminal here. They simply didn't have the bandwidth to go after everyone. But White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer today made clear that everyone who is undocumented could now be at risk. Everybody who is here illegally is subject to removal at any time. That is consistent with every, every country, not just ours. If you're in this country in an illegal manner, um, that obviously that there's a provision that could, could ensure that you be removed. But the priority that the president has laid forward and the priority that ICE is putting forward through DHS's guidance is to make sure that the people who have committed uh, a crime or pose a threat to our public safety are, are the priority of their efforts. And to make clear, the White House is saying indeed that uh, criminals, who, uh, people who have records, other things, are uh, the top on that priority list here to be deported. But simply you know, making these uh, suggestions that all laws will be enforced is causing alarm throughout immigrant communities tonight. Uh, Don, and this is just simply the first of a, a few steps. We're still waiting this week for a new executive order here for the travel ban that we've been talking about for weeks mm -hmm. here. Uh, that could come tomorrow or as the week goes on. Hey, Jeff, tell us about the, uh, the, what about the dreamers, the young immigrants who were brought to this country as children? Well, Don, that was one of the executive orders that President Obama signed into law, basically saying that any young person who comes to this uh, country illegally or not could stay. And this was, uh, they are called the Dreamers, the uh, DACA Act, if you will. And President Trump, this administration, is not touching that, for now at least. They say they are prioritizing uh, criminals and others. They are not, uh, you, know, even, you know, even looking at the Dreamers. But uh, it's clear that uh, you know, this is a, a, a for now. It's unclear what will be happening in the you know, the months and years to come here. But for now, the dreamers are off the table. And this is something that immigration hardliners will actually be raising questions against this administration on because they believe that they are breaking the law too, regardless of their age, Don. Good us tonight, Jeff. Thank you very much. I want to bring in now Bill Crystal, the editor of the Weekly Standard, Gloria Borger, CNN chief political analyst, Van Jones, CNN political commentator, and Jan Brewer, the former governor of Arizona. Gang's all here. Thank you so much for joining us. Gloria, I'm going to start with you. We're seeing a fundamental shift in U.S. immigration immigration policy, expanding the number of individuals who can be deported or detained. As controversial as this may be, the bottom line is we're seeing President Trump fulfill a key campaign promise. Yeah, he is. Uh, this is what he said he would do, aside from dreamers, uh, which he has said, I'm going to keep President Obama's policy on dreamers, as Jeff, was, as Jeff was pointing out. But this, look, this is what he promised in the campaign. Uh, and uh, however, there are lots of questions tonight. Uh, the president's executive order calls for the hiring of 10,000 new enforcement agents. That could cost anywhere, I've just looked at estimates, between one and four billion dollars. Add that to the cost of the wall, which is over 20 billion dollars. And you have to wonder how this is going to be paid for mm -hmm. and how uh, long it's going to take for all of these changes to to take effect the administration says this isn't changes this is just the kind of strong enforcement that the nation should have had all along but there are lots of immigration experts who say you know what by adding this 
huge police force here, you're giving people broad authority to detain, arrest, and deport mm -hmm. that they never had before. How, how different is it, though, Gloria, before I get to the other folks, than the, the previous administration's deportation policy? Because, uh, you is. know, the president, they call President Obama the, the deporter-in-chief. Right, because he deported two million people. Mm -hmm. But uh, what President Obama did was he, uh, he said that illegal immigrants convicted of serious crimes should be uh, the priority here mm -hmm. for deportation. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Customs and Border Control can remove anyone uh, uh, convicted of a crime. And the question is, what's a crime? Right. Is a crime, uh, is a, crime uh, a DUI? Is a crime tax evasion? Um, you know, it, it seems that everything is going to be uh, lumped together. And they, and they don't know yet. It's not exactly spelled out. So we have to see yes. as, it, as it is implemented who gets deported and what, what is constituted as a crime, or at least a serious enough crime to be deported. Uh, Van Jones, the White House says that the goal is, is not mass deportation, but these guidelines are going to make it easier to deport people. What's your biggest concern here? Well, um, I think if you just take a step back, it's very easy to get way down in the weeds of all this thing and that thing. It sends a signal that America is a less friendly and a less welcoming place. Um, and you can't actually calculate what that means to the country. In other words, you've got a lot of people who are here right now who are going to be afraid. They're going to be less willing to cooperate with law enforcement. If they see a crime, they might be afraid to call the cops. They may be afraid to do any number of things. But also there are people who... When they look at the, at the ban on those seven Muslim countries, when they look at this, they might think to themselves, you know what, I used to want to come to the United States. I used to want to be a part of that country. I don't think they want me, so I'm going to keep my genius uh, to myself. I'm going to try another way. And you could literally be suffering uh, from, you know, we had a brain drain to our favor. So many great people wanted to come here. I'm afraid that some great people are going to leave here But a lot of Americans and are okay come. with that. Well, I, I think that sometimes we think that Americans are great because so many Americans uh, who are born here are great. Uh, remember your high school class. We got a lot of Americans that are kind of mediocre. But we attract a disproportionate number of amazing people to the country, and that's really what gives us that edge. If we throw that away, you just don't know what the consequences are long term. Yeah. Uh, Governor Brewer, I want you to weigh in now, but I, I know that you're pleased with what you're hearing from the president. We've heard you speak so much about illegal immigration uh, in, in your state, but specifically on the DREAMers, Governor. The White House says that they're safe for now. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, I, first of all, Don, I would like to say that uh, what he proposed today is simply enforcing existing laws. Uh, we that live in America, I think we all want to believe that we all are living under the laws. And if we don't like the laws, then change the laws. But Dealing with illegal uh, immigration is a very difficult situation because it has a lot of uh, uh, issues uh, connected to it. But mm -hmm. first and foremost, he wants to um, uh, deport convicted illegal uh, uh, immigrants, mm -hmm. uh, people that have been charged and convicted. Um, that is the number one priority, and he is not doing anything different than what he promised the people of America. And he won that election. And the people of America support him in that direction. Yeah, we agree with you. And that's a Gloria. My I, first question to Gloria, but specifically about the dreamers. He said the dreamers are okay. How do you feel about that, Governor? Well, personally, you know, I don't believe it's a top priority. I know that they are here and that they probably have lived here for a long time and that they came for reasons that their parents probably brought them so they'd have a better life. But the bottom line is that they, too, are illegal. I don't think that they're going to go door to door mm -hmm. and have major raids on the dreamers. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that if they wanted to do that, they would have uh, already have done it. And you they're think not they should be able to? You think they should do priorities. it? priorities. I think the, the law says that they can do it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I, I want to bring uh, Bill but Chris. I think that there's a, I think there's a human, there's a human uh, instinct that, you know, we understand there's an issue there. But first and foremost, Don, and I think everybody will agree, we have a lot of issues to deal with. We first mm -hmm. and foremost, we've got to get our borders secured. Yeah. But, but, but to sit here and, and the sky is falling, the sky is falling because we're going to enforce the law. Come on. I mean, it is the law. It is... Um, uh, I, don't, I don't think that, anyone uh, has said that on uh, this panel. Has anyone we, said we the sky is falling? 
Well, well of course. I mean, it's, John, a, new immigration, it's a new immigration policy. We should be debating it. But no one is saying the sky is falling. That's what you do it's when there's something. It's not a new immigration. It is okay. not a new immigration policy. He's enforcing the existing laws. And they that's are illegal is. immigrants. That's what That's what... That's what... <laughs> Well, yeah. listen, the there's that, that, is there's the nothing. I don't law. understand why you're saying it's a, you know, we should be debating this. This is, we're Americans. That's what we do. This is what we do in the media. That's why we have a free media. That's why you're here. We want to get your side. But do you I haven't agree? heard, do I you haven't agree? heard, hold Don, on, Governor. I'm going to let you get it. But I haven't heard anyone here say the sky is falling. We're simply talking about this new plan that the White House proposed today, <laughs> and we're trying to make heads or tails of it. That's it. And no one is saying the sky is falling. That he's, that that he's going to enforce the existing laws. Everybody seems to think, I mean, these federal laws... You made that point. Gloria made that point as well. Well, I mean, and then, and, and you don't want to think that it's illegal. I mean, if you want the law changed, then change the law. Okay. But in the meantime, we have illegal immigration coming across our borders. Okay. Uh, I want to get Bill to Crystal and Bill Smith sitting here patiently, Governor. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, A, this doesn't deal with anyone coming across the borders. It maybe deters some people from coming because they think they'll be deported more quickly. So in that respect, insofar as so much of Trump's campaign rhetoric was about the wall, so far, no wall. Yeah. Secondly, I would say the main Republican objection to what President Obama did was partly his lax enforcement of the laws, and now Trump is a stricter enforcement of the laws. That's a policy debate that's reasonable. That he is saying. proposing, but... That, it, he's, but that he's ordering DHS to go ahead with. We'll see if it happens. I want to get your point. Let me just add one, one other thing just before I, on that, though. The, but the dreamers, that was the complaint. I mean, the Republican complaint was that President Obama did something that the legislation did not authorize him to do without executive order. Remember, President Obama had earlier said, I, I would need legislation to do that. Then in 2014, he goes ahead and does it. Republicans scream and yell. Trump makes it a centerpiece of his campaign speeches. He's going to reverse those executive orders. He's not doing that. I think that's interesting. And so the question for me is, this is what's so hard to tell about Trump. Ultimately, is he going to pursue fairly moderate policies? Yeah. Look at Governor Brewer. She's defending them. He's just enforcing the law. He's not even changing anything. Right. With, with sort of a certain amount of bravado and a certain amount of well, appealing to his base. I'm getting tough. I'm getting tough. But guess what? The dreamers stay. Yeah. Guess what? I'm just enforcing the law a little more. Or is he, as Van suggested, fundamentally changing our attitude towards immigrants, legal and Help illegal? Me in this. which case, I think it is a more fundamental Because change. we're saying that he's just enforcing the law. And that's what Governor Brewer is saying. We're just enforcing the law. The former president was... Uh, called the deporter in chief because he deported so so many different people. But I've heard people on this network and others saying, "Well, the administration failed us before." Can you really say those two things at the same time? If you, I, I think President Obama, most of that deportation was before he, he modified his instructions to uh, and how to enforce the law to the to DHS he, with prosecutorial discretion and all that. But look, I do think it's a very interesting question. We, a lot will depend on how it's implemented. And this is true of a fair number of Trump's policies, foreign policy, domestic policy. Is it a lot of talk and bravado and keep the base happy? And then at the end of the day, you have a fairly okay. normal, somewhat more conservative administration than President Obama's, obviously. Or is it a fundamental change in American policy with all kinds of implications? I personally would be relieved if it were the first. I'm worried that it's the second. And I think Van's point's important. And I've been fairly hawkish on immigration, but you do not want to send a signal to the world that we are scared of people coming in, that we think the situation in the U.S. right now is unmanageable, yeah. that the borders are being overrun, that the cities are teeming with people who are here illegally and we've got to panic. I do think that's not true yeah. and I think not a healthy thing for the president to convey to the degree he's conveying that. This is a very good conversation. I, want to cont I wanted to talk about you know, the president and African Americans visiting uh, um, anti-Semitism and all that visiting the African American Museum of History in, in, in Washington today. But I want to continue on with this just a little bit and then talk about that and we'll do it after the break. The cost of this. The cost of this. Is it worth it? Uh, and then we'll talk about the other thing when we come right back. We'll be back.